Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make some easy and delicious conchas. So in case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious sweet bread, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so I'm going to be using my stem mixer, but of course you can always use your hands. I will leave the instructions in the description box. So in my mixing bowl, I'm going to be adding about four cups of sifted flour. So that's about 550 grams. Along with that, we're going to sift half a cup of sugar and one cinnamon stick. We're also going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and six tablespoons of butter. So now we're going to begin to mix it. Okay, so we're going to be mixing on medium speed until the butter combines with the flour. Okay, so now we're going to add one tablespoon of instant yeast along with one tablespoon of vanilla three eggs, and three quarters of a cup of warm milk. So make sure that your milk is at 110 degrees. Slowly pour it and scrape the sides of the bowl. Okay, and once added all three quarters of a cup of milk, we're going to turn up the speed on medium and allow it to continue mixing for 10 to 12 minutes. Alright guys, so after 10 minutes, our dough should be ready. And you're going to know that it's ready once it's nice and elastic -y. So when you pull it, as you can see, it's nice and stretchy. So that's how you know that it's ready. So now we're going to get our bowl ready where we're going to allow our dough to rest. Okay, so I'm just going to butter the bowl. I'm going to add a little butter on my hands. Grab the ball of dough. And it's going to be sticky still. But that's how you know that your pan dulce is going to be nice and soft. So just butter it. Form it into a ball of dough. We're going to cover it with plastic wrap. along with the kitchen towel. Now we're going to place it in a warm place. Okay, so because my house is still cold, I'm going to be preheating my oven at 100 degrees for one minute. Okay, so after the minute, turn it off. Now we're going to place our dough in our oven. Just place something underneath it so it doesn't touch the rack. Okay, now we're just going to allow it to rest until it doubles in size. While we wait, we're going to get our topping ready. In a bowl, we're going to be sifting one cup and a half of all-purpose flour, one cup and a half of powdered sugar. With that, we're going to mix a one cup of butter flavor shortening, or you can use butter. Okay, so just begin to break down the shortening or butter. To that, we're going to add a one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And now we're just going to continue mixing everything together until our flour sugar mixture begins to feel like wet sand. And once we have that consistency, we're going to knead until we have a nice, smooth paste. Okay, so once we have our topping, you can stop here if you want to make them all vanilla conchas. But I'm going to be making some strawberry and chocolate as well. So I'm just going to be dividing my log into four pieces. So make sure that they're even. Okay, and I'm going to be grabbing the ends just to make vanilla and then chocolate and strawberry. And make sure that you wrap them into plastic bag or place them in a Ziploc bag. And just set them to the side. Okay, so for my chocolate, I'm going to be adding some cocoa powder. And you can use the Hershey's or Abuelita. But we're going to be sifting one tablespoon. Okay. And now we're just going to knead again to make sure that everything is well combined. Okay, so once we have our chocolate topping, we're going to wrap it. Make sure that you wash your hands real good so we can make our strawberry one. Okay, so for our strawberry, we're going to be sifting one tablespoon of strawberry Nesquik. We want the color as well as the flavor. So sift it. Begin to knead it. Okay, to intensify the color, I'm also going to be adding a few drops of pink 
food coloring. Okay, so just knead it, combine it. Okay, and once it's all nicely combined, just roll it into a ball. And wrap it into plastic bag. Just like that. Okay, so once we have all of our toppings, we're going to place them in the refrigerator until it's time to use them. Okay, guys, so it's been about two hours, so our dough has doubled in size. So now we can get ready to shape our conchas. Okay, before we do that, we're going to get our baking sheet ready. So I'm just going to grease it with some butter. And the butter is going to work as glue for the parchment paper. Okay, so once we have that, now we can shape our, our conchas. Okay, so punch the air out. Okay. And now we're going to divide our dough. I'm going to be dividing in half first. Okay, and depending on how big you want your conchas, then it depends on how big you're going to get your dough. Make sure that you cover the other half. I'm going to be making eight conchas. And I'm just going to cut it in half. And then half again. And just begin to roll it. Okay, so once we have divided our dough, now we're just going to shape our conchas. So just grab your ball of dough and begin to roll it. And make sure that the bottom is sealed. Okay, just like that. Now make sure that you butter the top so it don't dry out. Place it on your baking sheet and cover it. Okay, and repeat the process to all of your dough. Okay, and once we have our ball of doughs, now we're going to get the topping ready. Okay, so we're going to be dividing our topping into two. Okay, so just divide it in half. And I'm going to be using my tortilla press. Okay, to make our topping, we're going to rub a little butter in your hands. And make sure that your topping is at room temperature, so like that it doesn't crack. And just roll it with a little ball. Place it on your tortilla press. Press it down one time. I'm going to flip it over and press it down again. Just like that. Once we have it, we're going to place it on top of our dough. Okay, and press it down. And make sure that the topping goes over the dough. Now grab your concha cutter, press it down, and repeat the process to the rest of the topping. Okay, and once we have all of our conchas with our topping, we're going to cover them and allow them to rest for about 30 to 45 minutes or until they doubled in size. Alrighty guys, so after 45 minutes, this is what the concha should look like. At this point, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And in the bottom of our oven, we're going to be adding a baking dish with water. This is just going to help so that the top of the concha can stay nice and moist and it doesn't break. And excuse my dirty oven. Okay, so once our oven is ready, we're going to be baking between 18 to 20 minutes. All right guys, so after 20 minutes, our conchas should be done. And you're going to know that they're done once you see that they're golden. So we're just going to get them out and allow them to rest for about 10 minutes and then we can get ready to enjoy. All right you guys, and after 10 minutes, we can get ready to enjoy. And look at this, super soft. They're still a little hot, but I am so ready. All right you guys, and now for the best part the taste test. So grab your coffee, your champurrado, hot chocolate, or just your glass of milk. Um, and you can enjoy them you know, when they're hot. I personally like them when they're 
freshly out of the oven, but of course you can allow them to completely cool down. Let me show you, they're super soft and they stay soft even a few days after. Look at that. So, so easy to make you guys. It's a little time consuming, but let me tell you that it's honestly so worth it. And who doesn't like freshly made conchas? <laughs> So let me know in the comments which was your favorite, the chocolate, vanilla, or the strawberry. And you know the fun thing about this, about making conchas, is that you can personalize them, you know, make them different colors by adding just food coloring to um, the topping. But for me, chocolate is the best. So cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Super soft on the inside. And the topping, it's crunchy. It's perfect. So good. Mm. The best. They're not dry. They're moist. The best. It's super easy to make. Mm -hmm. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how to make some delicious conchas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you work with this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.